Dr. Peter Levine incorporates the Smoothie Viberswing system as a regular tool in somatic experiencing work. The intention of this video is to help somatic experiencing professionals learn more about using the smoothies. It features excerpts of Dr. Levine working with a client who remains off screen to protect confidentiality. Dr. Abby Blakesley, faculty with the Somatic Experiencing Trauma Institute, provides her perspective and expertise on how the smoothie rings serve as a valuable tool in many aspects of SE practice. Dr. Levine quotes, the smoothie rings are a useful tool for mobilizing the body in a contained, safe way. They organize energy through sound, movement, and rhythm, helping to link the autonomic and somatic systems. I'm Dr. Abby Blakesley. I'm faculty for the Somatic Experiencing Trauma Institute, and I have worked extensively with Dr. Peter Levine for uh, many years now. And I have the gracious invitation to come here and to share with you all some other ways and applications of using smoothies in somatic experiencing practice. He's using the smoothie rings very often in many of his sessions. And that's been a question for me. Why would you use a smoothie ring? Why would you use a, a bellicon or some other kind of tool? When would you just do somatic tracking? I'm just saying, so a lot of times you don't know what's going to be the appropriate tool until the moment you know it. One of the things that's particularly helpful if you have a person who has experienced multiple traumas and has what we might call complex PTSD, it's very hard to discern event specific. Where might you start in the nervous system? You know that there's a, a high level of shutdown or in the dorsal vagal freeze, right? Um, there also could be a certain level of dissociation or disconnection. So you either see it in a dissociative pattern, but knowing that there's a complex history with a lot of freeze, the smoothies are an excellent way once you've done some vooing. The voo sound is a breath exercise Dr. Levine introduced. An easy breath is taken and a deep foghorn-like vu sound is extended over the length of the exhale. So often, vuing is going to be one of the first things that you do to engage that dorsal vagal break, utilizing the vibration and kind of talking to what we would call maybe the gut brain, right, and sending up all of those signals to the brain that Things are moving here. Things are okay here. It's like this vibration that starts to bring up, right, some of the sympathetic arousal, and they come out of the freeze. And then as we come out of the freeze, much of the time, what do we find? We find a high level of arousal, sometimes the, the fear, sometimes the fight or the flight signal, you know, things that occurred right before we needed to go into freeze in order to um, survive, right, such an overwhelming event or from the basic kind of core of survival. So as we kind of meet that, then we can move towards something that's gonna be more pleasantly mobilizing in the system. The movement is introduced gently and gradually increased. Most people find the sensation to be pleasant. We're gonna start with a really gentle, and then very gradually building up. Let's talk a little bit about the functionality here of this movie. One of the things that you'll see sometimes is this bending at the wrist. And what's happening here is that I'm not really getting much of the movement of the vibrational rings, nor is it connecting to the mobilization in my upper body. Some people are going to need a little bit more stability in their wrist, and so that they can feel, right, the action of the ball moving through the joints, right? The wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder. And this will connect more into mobilization of the upper body with the torso involved. Sometimes people will get these swinging, but they're not really getting the ball rolling. So we want that bigger movement of the ball through the smoothies. Another thing with the smoothie rings that you want to be paying attention to is that people aren't right 
punching forward, that they're actually connected through the spine, through the pelvis. And one of the things too that I'll be tracking, you know, that, that, so that awareness through the posture, that can be really helpful for people who also have been in states of chronic shame, right, where there's more of that, that um, collapsed posture. So that will help in bringing them a little bit more forward with mobilization, with action, action potential we could call it, or action towards the preparatory set. And the other thing that a lot of the time that I'm watching for is when the lower body comes online. So I can be doing this, but be kind of stiff or disconnected from the lower part of my body. And I'll let people experience it for a little while. And then you'll see, right, there's just a little bit more movement now down through my knees. And I'll say, huh, did you notice that there's a little bit more movement down through your knees or in your hips? Would you be willing to become aware of that? Dr. Levine has commented that the alternating forward and backward motion of the swinging rings recruits contralateral movement throughout the body, exercising muscles on opposite sides of the body from one to another. slide, uh, Dr. Peter Levine is talking about using contralateral movement, again just in general building the felt sense of awareness in the body, but with a lot of uh, chronic stress states, uh, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, one of the things that you'll find is constant bracing through the body. Um, this is where there's been inhibited escape, um, any time that there's been a uh, the survival responses, right, bound in the musculature for long periods of time. And usually after a while, people no longer sense the tension under the pain. They're just aware of the pain patterns. So as you begin to free, right, up the, the movement in the body, the um, antagonistic systems of the musculature, which are concurrently braced in a lot of the um, chronic pain patterns, can begin to work in synergy with one another and you start to kind of reset the rhythm of the musculature in order to balance and work uh, together again. By changing to a horizontal movement, Dr. Levine indicates he is targeting different reciprocal muscle groups in order to mobilize the anterior and posterior muscles of the thorax. You'll see also this sort of cross movement. One of the things that I like to also consider with the smoothie rings is as we're bringing up that mobilization, the felt sense of movement in the body, it's pleasant sympathetic arousal, but these can often also elicit a felt sense of a boundary, right? Especially when you're crossing in front of your body. Sometimes also making sounds like a ha, 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 that also helps to bring up the social engagement, right? The connection that you can be heard by others, that you have a voice, begins to, um, again, really connect someone to an ability to feel like they can be present, stand their ground, and have a boundary. And of course, they're doing this with you present. So a few people have asked about contraindications of using smoothie rings. And again, it's gonna be very individual for the nervous system of your client since we're working with uh, nervous systems that express themselves in many different ways. One thing that I will do though is before I work with someone who has a lot of chronic pain, chronic pain pattern, or active injuries, um, I'm gonna make sure that we do a lot of other kind of physical, slow physical integrative movements first before moving into something that is highly mobilizing. So, what I did, what the reason I had your rest, is I noticed it was just going out of rhythm right at the end there, and that's when I said, well, let's just, you know, take a pause and notice what you're experiencing. And, oh yes, rest. And again, that was where the movement just was so uh, fluid. One thing that a person can do when they're moving the smoothie rings 
is to feel what we call their proprioception. It also is part of the kinesthetic awareness. And the proprioception is your body map, facilitated also by the information from your joints, that your body is moving through space. Okay? These are core concepts in healing trauma. As you move with the proprioception, it increases your ability for your brain to feel your body and it increases your capacity towards interoception. And when we're aware of the felt sense of our body, we can also notice the different branches of our nervous system. We can notice also where we might be in the threat response cycle. So it can be an incredible tool as one of those first ways to help somebody get connected to themselves and into their internal processes. It's building an experience for a person to have what we call an interoceptive experience. Interoception is uh, your way that your brain is able to access or pay attention to the felt sense of sensations in your own experience. Yeah. So it would be what we would call what counter vortex, right? A pleasurable, life affirming, able to move. I have capacity to move and it feels nice. And that's a really, really important thing when we first bring people into their interoceptive or their felt sense experience of themselves, that they're not landing in the middle of the, the trauma vortex. There are times where the smoothie rings actually bring up more unpleasant activation for individuals. A lot of the time this could be because you're moving over threshold, it's too much energy in the system, they don't have enough containment to hold the level of charge. The other is that as the activation or the sympathetic arousal emerges and as they're exploring these movements, they might need to do slower movement to kind of integrate and complete the defensive responses that are um, associated to those arousal patterns. And you might need to really look to see there might be something else that needs to occur in the nervous system first before these larger movements are uh, uh, become more, more pleasant. Next, note the breath and facial movement which the client then mirrored. The client appears ready for deeper exploration of body sensations allowing bound energy in the autonomic nervous system to emerge and discharge. One of the ways that uh, we like to utilize this movie rings is to help somebody come in contact with their healthy aggression. When there's been a lot of overwhelm in the body and the a lot of necessity for freeze. As a person comes out of freeze, one of the things that they'll find is their natural fight response. Uh, something that uh, needed to happen, but was unable to happen because the body and the physiology is overwhelmed in the moment. So as a person starts to come into their own life energy, they can have a pleasant sense of being able to feel the charge and move with the charge. And you'll see there's like this kind of motivational energy that comes. People are starting to come up and out a little bit. You'll see it through the eyes. Sometimes those sounds, you know, like the ha, or making, uh, instead of a voo sound, you can work with a ra, 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 a sound like that, opening and closing the jaw just a little bit until there's some resistance and beginning to mobilize that charge for healthy aggression. Sometimes an altogether different movement emerges with the client and the practitioner mirrors. It is now slowing down in an organic manner. Inviting frequent pauses and letting things slow down while creating an attuned and safe container for the client allows for settling and discharge following a cycle of stimulation produced by the rings. And then as we pause, 
there's an opportunity or an availability for the people to begin to access that gentle parasympathetic of rest and digest, right? And we've got what goes up must come down. But as they feel them settling down from the physical activity, there's a, a calmness, a felt sense of their breathing slowing down, their heart rate resting. And for many people who've been in a chronic state of stress and trauma, this are some of the, these are some of the first times that they've felt themselves coming down, coming back into themselves in a more restful state. Smoothies, when we're talking about helping to mobilize sympathetic arousal, a, a physiological experience of aliveness, we're also bringing up charge or energy through the core. And as we're helping a person to connect more to the arms and through the legs, we're creating more capacity, right, within the body to hold charge of all of life's energy. This can also be particularly helpful when we're talking about affect regulation. Many people experience strong affect in the core. And if we have more access to the felt sense of the arms and the legs, like the body as a container, this can be one of the ways that can be really helpful for people to begin to regulate big charge and affect. After a few cycles of notable discharge, asking the client to repeat the following phrase can deepen integration and even invite a bit of humor. I give myself this gift of deep relaxation, whether I deserve it or not. So I think we've got a nice piece of work done now here using the smoothies. Hopefully this video has provided useful information about how the vibrations, sound, and rhythm of the smoothie rings work nicely with the SE model.